Hello and welcome to tonight's uh, SBC News. To combat the growing predicament of workplace harassment in Seychelles, the Tourism Department earlier this year joined forces with the Department of Employment, the AG's Office, the Seychelles Federation of Workers uh, Unions and the Seychelles Tourism Academy to form a committee. As part of the development and implementation of its programme, this uh, committee has planned a series of initiatives aimed at uh, eliminating abuses in the workplace. After a debate organised in April, this uh, committee today organised a half-day workshop aimed at allowing stakeholders from different industries to meet and propose a mechanism which businesses can put in place to address the issue of abuse in the workplace. The workshop was held in the SCC conference room this morning. Starting from the 1st of September, tourism establishments bordering with or that falls directly inside marine parks will be required to make pay payments online for their clients to use spaces in the parks. This also applies for travelling agencies offering group tours in the marine parks. This comes after the Parks and Gardens Authority wants to emphasize the application of its law that allows the authority to collect certain revenues to reinvest in its activities. The authority says that the National Parks and Nature Conservancy Act dates back to 1991 but was not being fully applied. The money collected will go towards a conservation fund that will help the authority with training for their staff, researchers, maintaining infrastructure and uh, with uh, other expenses. The elderly and disabled children uh, who to adults who wish to go in the sea but have no balance and need assistance can make the most of the currency at uh, Beauvalon right now. Using the floating chair sponsored by Winslow Naya Consulting. The chair is in the care of the elderly and disabled division and is being kept at the lifeguards hut next to the Coral Strand Hotel. It has been available since 2020 but barely used during the COVID period and has been out of the mind of many. Now, the division of the elderly and disabled wants uh, to encourage all to make the most of the floating chair which they will use with the assistance of a lifeguard. The elderly and disabled division in, is putting a lot of emphasis on families, especially in the society, to bring their elderly and persons living with a disability on, on the beach itself to get access to the water-based wheelchair, whereby they themselves also can form part of activities involving the sea. It's therapeutic too, it's good for our person living with disabilities and elderly, whereby when they come for a picnic, besides just sitting on the sand, they can also get access to the beach and take part of the activities itself within the sea. Our division is also working with close collaboration with Mr. Vincent Siras, the liaison officer on Prale, whereby we are facilitating an activity whereby the water based wheelchair will be dispatched to Prale, whereby people there within the society will also benefit in regards to getting access to the beach for our elderly and persons living with disabilities. That's uh, SBC News uh, for now. A very good evening to you.